What's going on everybody? My name is Mr. Relics. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can make awesome alerts using StreamerBot that look a little like that. Let's get into the video. Okay, so here we are in OBS Studio and I'm going to show you what my alerts currently look like. It looks something like that. And what I'm going to do is create a new scene and we're going to create a brand new one together. Well, you look at something a little like this so you can follow along and make it as well this part is the creative part so strap in this is going to be fun so first of all we're going to create a scene we'll call this alerts i'm just going to call this youtube because i've already got an alert scene and we're going to start building out our alerts so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add in an image Okay, so that's an image that I have on my computer already. That's what I want to use as my background. If you want to create something very similar to this, then all you need to do is go onto Photopea, just create a box, add a stroke, and put a drop shadow on it and save it as a transparent PNG. Very simple. The next thing we're going to want to add is the profile picture of the person it's alerting us to. So let's call this uh, alert profile. Oh, can't even spell profile pick and you want to set this to 300 by 300 and you can just leave that as is you don't worry about setting the URL or anything like that because we're going to do all of that within Streamerbot later on you then just want to put this in a place where you know it's going to be and a good practice to do first of all is you want to right click on all of your elements edit the transform and put them into the center of the screen so I'm going to do that and then you can move them around that just changes the alignment so we're going to do that with this one as well edit transform center and then we'll just align that to where we want that to be next thing is we're going to want to add in some text so I'm going to call this YouTube alert um, alert type because what we're going to do within streamer bot is we're going to use these alerts for every single type of alert that we have we're going to use the same scene the reason I'm doing it like this you can create multiple different alerts for various different um, actions where it's subscribers cheers etc the reason I'm doing it all the same is because I want a very minimal design so we're just going to call this I don't know, this one will be new follower for example change the font to something that you like and change the color to something that you can read once again we're going to transform this and we're going to set the position to center it's going to put it right to the top hand corner but that's fine we'll resize that down now and put that where we want it to go so I want mine to go roughly about there that looks absolutely fine and then we can copy that right click paste as duplicate you want to paste it as a duplicate and not a reference because if we paste it as a reference it will edit both boxes we want to duplicate it so it would be its own type we can then rename that to YouTube alert follower name okay then we can move that down let's just put my name in there for now and we can make that look how we want it to there we go that looks fine we might want to change the color of this one as well I like changing the color of the actual person that we're shouting out just to make it stand out a little bit so yep yeah, that looks absolutely fine I've just added in a picture of me as well just to make this a little bit more personal and now what we're going to do because this is all set up this is ready to go we're going to highlight all of it we're going to right click and we're going to group the selected items name it whatever you want but remember the name now if we activate this and deactivate it, it looks quite boring. If you want to make it so you get that cool little transition that I had, we can right click on the group, we can press show transition, hit slide, and we'll make it go up. So if we do that and we make it, it slides up. And then if we do high transition, we do exactly the same thing, but we make it go down. So now, when we get an alert it slides up and then it will slide down but this isn't automatic yet when we get an alert nothing's gonna happen so let's head over to streamerbot and make it happen okay so here we are in streamerbot now and we're gonna go over to the actions tab we're gonna right click we're gonna press add and we're gonna create a new alert I'm gonna put this in 
I'll put it in its own thing. I'll just call this tutorial. And we're going to call it alert tut. Okay. We're going to get this all set up, ready to go. So when someone does follow us, we can grab their information. And the way we do that is when we right click, we add action, we head down to Twitch, and we get the user info for target. Leave it as is, press OK. What that's going to do is going to add information for who uh, follows, subscribes, cheers, etc. And you'll be able to then pull information for that particular user. Very important that we have that. The next thing we're going to do is head over to OBS GDI text and we're going to select the source for the alert type. We'll call this new follower and we'll press OK. We'll do exactly the same thing again. GDI text, but this time we'll say the name and then this is where we'll start using variables and where the target um, from redeem comes in handy. So we'll use percent sign, username percent sign and then we'll press OK. And then we'll go to OBS set source visibility state. Mine says YouTube alerts, but whatever you named your group, select that and press visible. And then we're going to add in a delay. Now the delay is how long you want it to be on screen for. I typically have mine on for around about four seconds. So that'd be 4,000 milliseconds. However, you can have it random. It could be 4,000 to 10,000, which would be four to 10 seconds. Experiment with it, see how you like it. But I'm going to have mine as 4,000. Now we've had the delay. We're going to do this one again, but in reverse. So what we can do very quickly is we can just duplicate the action double click it and change it from state visible to hidden really quickly this is matt from the future just with a quick interjection because i forgot one element that we didn't change and that is to pull the profile picture for whoever it is we're shouting out so to do that what we're going to need to do is add an action we'll go to obs and we'll set the browser source choose the uh, browser source that you you made before mine's alert profile pic and then you want to type in percent sign target with all lowercase user with a capital u profile image url so a capital p capital i and then all caps url and then a closing percent sign but to make it work with the actual followers what we're going to need to do is head over to settings general and then you'll see followers um, we can set the alerts here so i'm going to set mine to alert tutorial we'll press select on that and now what we'll do is we're going to press test and as you can see that now changes to new follower my name and then it disappears after a little while and you can do this with every single alert you have whether it's a cheer a sub a resub hosts raids etc you can do so much but that is a general overview and a general way that you can make awesome alerts just with streamer bot what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave an import code for the streamer.bot in my discord link for that will be in the description down below alongside that i'm going to also leave the json file for the actual scene so if you have the source copy uh, plugin you can use that to import the the scene as it is and then you can just change it to fit what you want your alert to look like if you like this video make sure you give me a thumbs up hit subscribe because I create OBS tutorials all the time talking about how you can level up your Twitch streams using awesome tools such as Streamabot. If that sounds like something that you're into, I'd love to have you join the family. But until next time, take it easy.